All right, on to the next example. Ask us to find the equation of the tangent line to the curve given by these parametric equations here. X is equal to cos cubed t, y is equal to sine cubed t, and it asks us for the equation at t equals zero. Okay, so we'll, we'll proceed as we've done, and we'll see what happens. We know that dy dx is given by y prime of t over x prime of t. So we go ahead and we figure that out. Let's see. Uh, so y prime, here's y. So we need chain rule, right? y is going to be, y prime is going to be 3 sine squared t times derivative of the inside, which is cos. Okay. x prime, we get 3 cos squared t times the derivative of the inside, which is minus sine t. Okay, can do that. Now, um, we do run into a bit of trouble, though, at, uh, at zero. I mean, you could argue that we could simplify here, but uh, more to the point, notice that, at what, well, what happens at t equals zero? Notice that y prime at zero is zero because sine of zero is zero x prime of 0 is also equal to 0. Okay? So direct substitution gives 0 over 0. So at this point, you're really disappointed. You're like, well, y prime is not even, you know, dy dx is not even defined. This is a stupid example. Why are we, why are we doing it? Um, well, I mean, it's 0 over 0, but you can see that there's some simplification that can happen, right? Now you have to be a little bit careful. If you simplify, maybe you're losing some information, right? You're canceling things, but you're canceling things that are zero. So this is zero over zero. Um, it's an indeterminate form. And we know one thing about indeterminate forms. We know that you shouldn't handle them by just simply canceling because you're changing the domain. Um, you should handle them with a limit because the limit is going to let us cancel because the limit stays away from t exactly equal to zero and just tells us what's happening close to t equal to zero, right? So that's one thing to keep in mind. The other thing to keep in mind is to remember that uh, we said that the definition of a smooth curve is that a curve is going to be smooth as long as we stay away from points where either these derivatives are undefined or where they are simultaneously equal to zero. Here's a place where they're simultaneously equal to zero, okay? Um, all right, so maybe we should be concerned about that. But actually, Think about it for a second. We, we actually know what this curve is. If you think about eliminating the parameter, we might notice something. Notice that if I do x to the 2 thirds plus y to the 2 thirds, well, cos cubed to the 2 thirds gives me cos squared. Sine cubed to the 2 thirds gives me sine squared. Okay. Sine squared plus cos squared is 1. We've actually dealt with this curve. Go all the way back, all the way back to maybe chapter 2. This curve is, it, has, it has a name, right? This is this so-called um, asteroid. Not to be confused with an asteroid, which is a space rock, um, but asteroid, which is this curve, right? It's this curve, which looks something like this. Right? And this point over here, by the way, that's exactly where we get to when t is equal to 0. Right? So we actually, you know, it, so the asteroid is kind of like a sort of a squashed circle, right? Um, the t is going to run from 0 to 2 pi and trace out those points. We can actually let t run from 0 to 2 pi, and we, we get the points in sort of exactly the same order that we do for, um, for the circle. Okay? And so we can see that, indeed, there shouldn't be a tangent at that point, right? So, okay, maybe they shouldn't have asked us for the equation of the tangent line because there is no tangent line. There's a cusp, right? So we shouldn't be asking for a tangent line at a cusp, right? There is no tangent line at a cusp, right? But we can still say something. We can still do something here. We can still sort of talk about, well, what value does the slope approach as we get to that point? So we can still say that 
dy dx is undefined. Okay. On the other hand, I could consider the limit as t goes to 0 of y prime of t over x prime of t. Right? And that gives me the limit, t going to 0. Well, cancel the 3's, cancel a, one cos, cancel a sine. I get um, minus tan t. And of course, that limit is 0. Right? So I shouldn't really say that there's a tangent line at that point, because there isn't. But I can still say something about that derivative, right? So if, if you get 0 over 0, you've got a possibly a non-smooth point. Well, you can still ask, well, what happens to the limit? Does the limit exist? Can we actually see what happens as t approaches 0? And we can see that whether you're coming in from, you know, here's t approaching 0 from the, from the left, here's t approaching 0 from the right, and you can see that in either case, the curve is kind of flattening out, right? So that does give us some information. It tells us that that slope should be approaching 0 as we get to that point.